नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टाइम फॉर आर रेगुलर मॉर्निंग सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूएचबी 3 एंड इन यूएचबी 3 वी वर डूइंग द प्रैक्टिस सेशन वी आर ऑन एक्सरसाइज 2 observing the self and the body by the self and we were up to step 2 in step 1 we were trying to observe these two realities the self and the body i can see that i am there how do i see that i am there i can see myself in the form of my activities so i exist i can see my imagination i can see my feelings my thoughts my expectations going on within me so i know i exist i am there the body is also there how do i see that the body is there i can see that the body is there when i read sensations from the body so we in you know normally if somebody is asked how do you know the body is there you would say i can see it but seeing if you look at it is really the part that is done by the body is just that the reflection of whatever you wish to see is there on the retina and you are making sense of it of what it actually is so in other words you are seeing by reading this sensation from the body your vision your sight this is also a sensation through the sense organ i e y e i <laughs> so i know that the body also exists that it is a reality that exists because i can read the sensations from the body so even if my eyes are closed i can make out that the body is there because there is sense of touch isn't it through, through sense of touch i can make out where i'm sitting you know Um, so if my feet are on the floor, then I can feel the pool floor against the feet, and so on. So I can see that I am there, and the body is also there. That we are two distinct realities. This we try to observe in step one, and then in step two, we were talking about the interaction between myself and the body. so this interaction that is happening between me and the body is in the form of information i am giving some instruction to the body and whatever i think is important accordingly i give the instruction to the body this instruction that i am giving is a type of information in the body as part of its own self organization many processes are taking place blood circulation is happening heart is pumping so many things digestive juices are beginning to form at this time or maybe little later once the sun comes up so many things are happening something or the there's some process is going on in the body and because of these processes there are some sensations taking place in the body now i read 
those sensations in the body that I think are important for me. I taste the sensations that I read, meaning I make you know, some conclusion about it. So with that sensation, I give some meaning to it. Whatever it is that I think is important to read in the body at that time. So this sensation that I am reading, this is also information. Therefore, the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information. There is no hardwired physical thing that is being transferred between the self and the body. It is just information. This we had to try to observe for ourselves yesterday, that whatever instructions we are giving to the body, are we giving instructions all the time or only sometimes? So if you can answer in the chat, what did you find in this observation? Were you giving instructions to the body all the time or sometimes? What did you notice? You can reply in the chat. Sometimes, yes, yes. So you will find this, that's true, that we are giving instructions to the body sometimes. What about the rest of the time? Many a time we are very busy with ourselves. Some imagination or the other is going on. And we are busy with that. Why so-and-so said this to me? Who did what? Why this person was like this? Somebody spoke to me badly. How could they do that? So many things may be going on. So most of the time we are busy with ourselves and sometimes whenever we think it is important, when we want to get some work done through the body, we give instruction to the body. What about the sensations taking place in the body? Are we reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometimes? What do you think? What did you find? Are you reading sensations from the body all the time? Or only sometimes. Yes, sometimes. True. We're not reading sensations in the body all the time, only sometimes. Are you reading all the sensations in the body or only some of them? What do you think? Are you reading all the sensations? in the body or only some sensation? That's right, only some of them. Many sensations are going on in the body. But we are paying attention to only some of them. Now, on what basis are we reading these sensations? You will find whatever is important to you for that, you are reading the sensation. Somewhere you read that um, stomach pain can be due to such and such thing and somebody, you know, was diagnosed with some sort of cancer and the symptom was something, something pain. Then suddenly you start paying attention to sensations in the body. Sensations around the stomach, abdomen, area. And even if there is slight discomfort, now you are worried. 
something is wrong i better get it checked out there is some problem no? you are reading the sensation what was the basis right now i think it's very important why because i don't want something to go wrong in the body there may be fear involved there may be anxiety involved then i go see the doctor and the doctor does you know some imaging study ct scan ultrasound something and says all your organs are fine nothing is the problem this might be just some gas in digestion now i come back very relieved same sensations are there but now i don't pay attention to them because somewhere i feel okay it's not so important does it happen can reply in the chat does this happen sometimes yes it does because whatever we think is important at a particular time we pay attention to that once we think okay it's not important now we stop paying attention to it but the sensation is there still but now it doesn't bother us now we don't want feel like reading it or at least we don't think it's significant enough for us to do so you'll find that for every sensation we read there is some reason why we are doing it otherwise we may not be paying attention the third thing we had asked was to do any activity slowly and observe this interaction of the self and the body during that activity so i gather that many of us were able to do this so if you would like to share your experiences your observations you can take them now namaste ma'am namaste to all uh, ma'am yesterday i keep on observe the interaction between the self and the body Mm-hmm. and uh, in uh, in the working place uh, when i go to college i see that uh, what are the task i have to execute uh, on that day and according to that the self made the plan uh, that is the so many works are there but uh, the self first prioritize the work which i should do first and uh, Uh, after Why did it you say is, that i prioritized uh that means so many works it want to do who, uh, who wants uh, to do i i i want to do hmm. the self want to execute that work but first the self it, and i uh-huh. are the same thing isn't it yeah ma'am yeah. Yeah. i am saying that self is i yeah. yes yes yeah. Okay. yeah. and uh when i uh, uh, sorry that self uh, look at that uh, things it first prioritize the work which i should take first and then how to execute when i go for the part how to execute uh, so many thoughts were going on how to do whether i should go this way that way like that it plans mm-hmm. then it give the instruction to uh, do the work uh, for example uh, the the self want to give the message to the students so uh, it plan to do google form so it give the instruction to the body to prepare the google form and send mm-hmm. so the body it use the body to prepare the google form and uh, it send that uh, uh, google form that is how i observe that uh, to execute that work when i come back to the home uh, the i saw that home uh, like a, through the sensation uh, i saw that uh, kitchen so so many utensils were there that is the information uh, the body gave the information to the self so while uh, 
so the self decided to do that household task and uh, here also i observe so many works are there and uh, um, then uh, which one i should take first that is how the task we are doing and and one more thing i observe uh, self give the uh, instruction to the body to clean the utensils body is uh, doing only one task like cleaning the utensils but at the same time the self uh, is not focus only on that task i uh, uh, receive that information from the news like a tv news like so many thoughts were going on based on that so body is doing the only the one task but the self is thinking and doing so many things uh, like that the it execute and after completion of the task uh, still so so many work is there self decided yes uh, you have to stop the work and take rest and uh, here uh, one doubt is arise for me that uh, it says that, that now you have to go for bed and take rest uh, rest of the work uh, you can execute tomorrow uh, uh, wake up in the early morning so that you can execute so this information whether it gives the self only decide whether it gives the uh message to the body so that the body will also alert to get up early in the morning uh, that that's that is the one question arise at the end what is the question exactly yeah ma'am like, finally i at 10 o'clock at 10:30 mm -hmm. i feel tired so that uh, i self decide not to continue further the work mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. physical work so uh, self decide to stop the work mm. yeah uh, but still more work is there uh, mm. i decided to do it in the morning so that i should get up early uh, yeah. that thought is coming uh, i thought that whether the thought is give, coming only on the self whether it gives other thought will be uh, convey the message to the body also so that body also support to get up early in the morning that will depend on you no uh -huh. so in the night you decide that you want to get up in the morning mm -hmm. but in the morning you feel like sleeping mm -hmm. a little more then you mm -hmm. give the instruction to the body it's okay we'll sleep for 10 more minutes or 15 more minutes no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then after that or you put a snooze button on the alarm or something. Mm -hmm. Then after that, when the alarm goes off again, then you feel, okay, now it's high time. Now you recall mm -hmm. all the dishes and you feel, I have to do this work before I go to the college. I have to do this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. so now you instruct the body, okay, let's get up. Mm -hmm. Body gets up. Mm -hmm. You can see that how Whatever is important, whenever it's important, accordingly you give the instruction. Mm -hmm. Body will follow whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. We say body is tired, yeah. therefore you sleep more. But tell me something, mm -hmm. when you are very excited, say your, your children mm -hmm. are grown up, are mm -hmm. they home with you or they are outside? Mm -hmm. I'm asking. You have children? Hello? Hello, ma'am. I said, do you have children? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma My dad. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. So, supposing your children are outside, they are in their own homes, mm. they are busy with their own life, but they tell mm. you that they are coming. Hmm. Mm hmm? Yeah, they are coming and yeah. their flight or train lands. Uh, you know, the train comes or the flight lands early morning, mm. three thirty a.m. Mm. Now, body is tired. What instruction do you mm. give to the body? Yes, I give that instruction to get up. Ah, because you think alert. it's important. Yeah. Now, body yeah. is tired. Doesn't matter. 
Mm. Now you decide. Mm. No, no, mm. I must go. My daughter mm. is coming. I must meet her. You want to meet her mm. or him, your son? No. Mm. So yeah. body is still tired, but you give it some instruction, so it follows. Mm. You will notice that whatever is is important for you accordingly you give the instruction to the body isn't mm -hmm. it yeah yeah namaste devi namaste namaste to all uh, when i do multitasking it seems that uh, i am giving the instruction to the body parallelly Mm -hmm. but when i slow down and see that i am not giving all at one time yes i am giving the instruction one by one yes it seems like i am giving all the instructions at one but uh, if i observe it slowly that yeah i am giving one after the another and similarly when i read a sensation also it seems i am reading all the sensations but i am reading one by one only mm -hmm. but it looks i am reading all at the same time yes is it possible to read happening to... very fast hmm. ha ah, yes hmm. it's very fast uh, so i am decided to listen the class i am decided to work on laptop i am standing and going to the take water it seems like i am giving say uh, instructions all together but i am giving one after the another mm -hmm. Ah, so is it possible to give multiple instructions at the same time? See, if you look at it, you some things you give the instruction, but you don't have to keep moment to moment giving that instruction, and the body will keep doing, say like a repetitive task. you're climbing downstairs hmm you've given the instruction to the body to climb down the stairs how much of a step to take how wide a step to take all that you gauge no yes did and you instruct the body accordingly to put out the leg only so much and then you are climbing down the stairs and while climbing down the stairs you may also be talking on the phone with somebody so you are paying attention there but you will notice that you know if one step is bigger than the other you almost you know unless you are familiar with that path unless you are doing this every day you may not pay attention that much and you know if you are if you are doing this on a regular basis and one step is wider than the other now you are you have been doing it you are aware of it so you don't have to consciously give that instruction now you although you are you know you do instruct the body to take a wider step for that step na but you are also doing other things so it looks like you are not really giving instruction to go down the steps but in an unfamiliar place there you will find that if you are not sure about the steps you are cautious no You yes, don't go down as quickly. So you are gauging the steps, giving the instruction accordingly, and then you are going down. And then once you are comfortable with that, then you do other thing. It's like um, for those of us who you know drive. The first time you learn driving. how much attention you have to pay to everything no yes dear first time you are on the road you are very careful you are looking at the back mirror you are looking at the you know 
I mean, the side mirror, you're looking at the mirror in front. You're looking at the road from time to time. You're trying to pay attention to which road you are on. So many things, you're very busy with that. But then you become familiar with that street. That becomes your route for college every day. Now, while doing that, you are busy with other things. You may listen to some music, you may do other things while doing this. So you have given some instruction and the body is following that. You don't have to consciously be giving, but definitely your instruction is there. Suddenly somebody comes in front and you break. No? The body doesn't you just do this. You have noticed it, and so you have given the instruction to the body to put the foot on the brake. So the body follows. So notice that your decision is involved, but sometimes it may seem in repetitive actions and other things that you are doing many things at the same time. Yes, dear. So in in consciousness we are seeing that we are giving instructions but some activities that is well known to us we are the instruction is given but we are not noticing it it is happening yeah i mean moment to moment you don't have to consciously give the instruction but somewhere you are giving it because whenever there is some disruption in that normal pattern you can see that you take note yes and you give an instruction which is, you know, different. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Very good morning. Whether my voice has been audible? Yes, you are audible. Uh, uh, Ma'am, many a times uh, we are working on simultaneously on number of the things in an mm -hmm. organization and all of a sudden we find that something has been slipped out. Then mm -hmm. uh, in that situation, uh, we are thinking that where we went wrong, whether the instruction we have given to the body that has not accepted or whether we have given a wrong instruction to the body. Yeah, so try to look at it. Try to see what is happening. You know, if you, this is why we said, you know, try to slow down any activity and observe what is happening. In the next step, we'll be looking at who is the decision maker. Because at the day end, when we just sum up the whole things in the night or uh, at the end of the working hours, because in a senior position, we have to perform uh, the whole task, every task. And in the next day, we have to rework on the few of the left out work also so mm -hmm. you know the strategy means whether in a self whether we have to command each and everything or if something has been left out we leave it and we redo it on the next day that you are deciding no or not uh, or the body there is a slip out in the body also See, there are, if we look at it and we are try to understand it, the body has some limitation. No? Yes, ma'am. In yes. mind, I can think, oh, today I will do these 20 tasks. Yes, ma'am. But when I actually start doing them, I find that it takes time for the body oh, to actually yes. do those tasks. Yes. In my mind, I can say, I'll go from here to so-and-so place. Yes. I'll walk down to this this place, then I'll come back, then I'll do this. Now, if yes. I am if I am not aware of the exact time it will take, I may think that it will take less time. Yes. But when the body, I actually give the instruction to the body to walk to that place, I find it has taken more time. Yes, you are right, ma'am. Yes. So there, again, it's not that the body falls short. It is that I didn't take it into consideration. I didn't plan accordingly. No? 
Okay, so our planning might be wrong. Yeah, Self-planning. meaning if I understand the limitations of the body, then yes. I will do accordingly. So many times yes. it happens, you go to the workplace. Yes, ma'am. You're driving a car. So you are giving yes. the instruction to the body to drive the car. Yes, ma'am. So you plan and you say that, okay, in 15 minutes, I should reach from here to there. Yes, ma'am. And the body is driving the car. But the car has, you know, car will go at a particular speed, but then there are other things we may not have taken into consideration. Traffic jam. Yes, ma'am. So if there's a traffic jam, I could be delayed another 10 minutes. Yes. So now I can't say that it is the fault of the body. That or the other. I could plan accordingly, no? Accordingly. Okay. If I'm, uh, you know, if I want to get there in a particular time. Yes, ma'am. Like, for instance, this, you know, what we said, somebody is coming to the airport and I want to receive them. Yes, ma'am. This is a family member, close family member, and I'm looking forward to them coming. Yes, ma'am. So I want to be there in time when they come and they land. They yes. should not be waiting for me. Yes. So I plan accordingly. And I think, okay, if it takes me one hour to get to the airport, let me keep another 20 minutes or half an hour extra so that I reach in time. Yes. No? Yes. So we plan accordingly based on how important it is for us. So we uh, prioritize, we, we set things. Yeah. So shall we keep something pre calculation? In advance in our body or uh, in ourself also? I mean, we are doing it all the time, aren't we? Many a times we are doing it, but sometimes mm -hmm. some uh, uh, environmental support is not been there. Then we plan accordingly, isn't it? As it comes. Means if I have help at home, I may plan something else. If I don't have help at home, now I have to take, you know, take care of that work at home also. So I will plan accordingly. A lot yes. of times what happens is we plan more than we can manage. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yes, yes, yes. This then is. we get stressed. Then we huh. don't know no, what is happening. It's stuck also. Stuck also. Yes. Yeah. So you pay attention. You pay attention inside also, you pay attention outside also. Okay, so we have that to balance. That possibility is there in the cell. Okay. Yes, and then you decide accordingly. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah? Yes, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hello. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Uh, Didi, I have a doubt. Like Didi was explained, she explained in a very detailed manner the uh, exchange of information between the self and the body. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like if I have to go somewhere and I just put an alarm for say four o'clock mm -hmm. and I'm very tired and when I get up, I am tired. And so I think, okay, let me sleep for 10 more minutes. Mm -hmm. But then there is a sensation in my stomach. Mm -hmm. I don't know if others, others also may be having, like there is a pain in this. There is something which doesn't let me sleep for 10 more minutes. Mm -hmm. So it happens, it, it ha used to happen with me during my exams also. Mm -hmm. That if I go to bed early and I used to get up 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning to study. Mm -hmm. So if I do not get up at that time, then there is this sensation in my stomach, a pain, discomfort that that will be there until I get up. So, is it that the body is also giving some instructions like, you know, because the self is saying, okay, you can sleep for 10 more minutes, but the body is not allowing to sleep for 10 more minutes. So, it's not that the body is not allowing. See, when I am anxious about something, it is going to have some impact on the body, isn't it? So, like you said, Supposing I decide to sleep for 10 more minutes. But at the same time, there might be some anxiety in me that if I don't finish this work, I must get up in 10 minutes and do this. With that anxiety, it is going to have some impact on the body. So there are these 
you know what we call sympathetic and parasympathetic um systems in the body so when i am thinking something the impact will be there through certain of these pathways and these pathways you know they run close to where your digestive system and all are involved therefore you will notice that when you are anxious suppose na you have to say give a talk and you are very anxious you may find you have a loose stomach have you noticed yes so this is not that the body is saying no or something it is my thoughts are leading to some effect on the body and it translates in the body in some physiochemical reaction which leads to some some symptom you can say what i can pick up so if you are talking first time on stage people say i had butterflies in my stomach no people say yeah. that yes some something you feel uneasiness in the stomach so all this is my anxiety playing up leading to some symptoms in the body if you really pay attention to it you will find that you are thinking something but because we are not aware of what we are thinking we notice the sensation in the body but we don't notice the thought behind it the feeling behind it which is leading to that so if you try and just observe you may notice something like this i mean it's one possibility i'm saying there may be this that i had you know once or twice i used i put an alarm and then i don't get up and i sleep for 10 minutes and then i wake up after one hour mm -hmm. if that experience is also there in the self somewhere that if you sleep for 10 more minutes you may not be able to get up after 10 more minutes yeah so possible see. possible that that, that experience is worrying you that yes. i should not keep sleeping for one hour but this also you will notice that when it is something important you keep waking up in between also something important to you something not so important you may you know lie down for 10 minutes and keep sleeping for one hour also because somewhere you are relaxed about it doesn't yes. matter so much yes isn't it yes so yes. even though you think you are sleeping you are not taking any decision but you are deciding many things you go to sleep you get up in the morning and you say oh i had a good night sleep how do you know that because you are there yes no huh? yes thank you thank you good morning ji good morning to all is study i noticed uh, the sign uh, about the assignment and uh, during the first interaction uh, as you were uh, telling that um, if some excitement happens actually i felt like that study um, as i was telling that i was not feeling good or not in good health uh, uh yesterday morning start uh, started uh, from uh, in the same way uh, from the working hour almost but after one or two hours uh, uh, actually i uh, attended uh, the recording of the ppi training because i have um, uh, told that i'll um, enter the data of ppi thing um, mm -hmm. so uh, i gone through that training and that training um, make me re realize that i have been also uh, been potency uh, identified as a, a potential person for uhp because i uh, it made me remember the email um, received from the kumar sambhavaya that uh, this email you are getting as uh, you were actively participating in the online ftp so i felt good about and after that uh, the whole day was changed for me uh, this good feeling uh, and i since i contributed to ppi team also for the first time just by making entries in the google sheet but 
actually it made me feel good that i contributed for something good and uh, my whole health problem was gone that's and what I, it was energetic whole day that's what so when you say you know like previously you were saying i felt low mm -hmm. you notice many a time it is the self hmm that is yeah. the one that is leading to all these moods up and down Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have that much to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This was the thing. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Okay, let's move forward. I think we can go to step three. So, step three, we are trying to observe who is the decision maker. we have already been talking a little bit about it so here we are asking who is deciding to give instruction to the body or to read specific sensations from the body is it the self or the body hmm? at a particular time i eat lunch every day so some secretions are happening in the body some acid secretion happens something is happening i can feel some sensation in the stomach at lunch time so now who is in charge here who is deciding is it self or body that i need to eat who is deciding can you answer in the chat yeah self is deciding true in the body this thing of you know the rumbling or that sensation is there but if i was busy with something very important i may not have read that but now nothing else is bothering me at this time and i can read that sensation and i feel okay let me give some food to the body so you notice that i am the one who decides to give the instructions to the body i am also the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body those sensations which i consider important like we were discussing earlier so this decision regarding the exchange of information between me and the body this all these decisions are mine i interact with the body as and when i require from time to time this also we asked yeah, in the yesterday's assignment and you could see that we are not interacting with the body continuously we are giving instruction from time to time we are reading some sensation from time to time and whatever instruction i give to the body the body follows so i am using the body as per my decision like an instrument it's like this i am the one who is deciding what to do what not to do so at the level of the self what is happening i am deciding my feeling my thought my expectation all of that is up to me i am deciding that wherever i need to involve the body then at the level of the body i am giving the instruction to the body with whatever work i want to take from the body and the body does accordingly so i am operating the body as per my decision i am using the body like an instrument if i understand the body then i give instructions accordingly but supposing i have to eat food 
and um somebody is offering me lot of sweets and i the body has a problem with sweet in you know my condition is such or the body's condition is such there is disharmony in the body and there is some problem with eating sweet but i am swayed by that you know i want to have that taste of the sweet so you will notice this sometimes the dilemma in you should i eat it should i not should i eat it should i not and then you decide one way or the other and then you give the instruction to the body <coughs> but even if it is harmful for the body the body will follow the body will do whatever you tell it so i am choosing to use the body as per my decision like an instrument so i use whatever sensation i am reading the taste from that sensation you know what i gather from that what i make out of that on the basis of that i decide what to do with the body and what to do with the outside world and accordingly i give instruction to the body any questions so far on this yes please did you have something to share or a question i have a question dear okay and good morning ji morning i am standing in the queue and my number has not come mhm but i have observed what is there in the on the table and immediately saliva started starts releasing in mouth mhm this action is a instruction from the cell or it is the response of the body Uh, to that uh, taste which i was uh, uh, realizing in the mouth yeah so what do you think mm, i think uh, it must be response from the body response to what response from the body because i uh, i uh, remembered that taste of the food so that was uh, uh that was a uh, very tasty so it, so that uh, uh taste uh, imagination uh, released the saliva yeah so lot of time this is what we say no that when you are thinking something when you are feeling something the impact of that will be there on the body so you don't have to physically instruct the body now you must release saliva the same situation you are standing in the queue now you are not so hungry but it is lunch time so you are eating there you are waiting for the food but um you are not thinking so much about the food and you don't want to you know you are not you are preoccupied with something else you will notice that there is no no saliva in the mouth or you know you, you have not um same situation only what you are thinking is something else have you noticed something like this is also possible uh, i will observe the yeah uh, because uh, most of the time this has been the situation that saliva is there <laughs> i will <Yeah>. observe that. <laughs> so you will notice this that you know when you are thinking about it a lot that is why you know this whole cooking industry so much they focus on the look the flavor the all of these things um the ambience because everything put together makes you want to have that or you think of having that experience no again so the lo- lot of focus goes on 
making these dishes look attractive uh of course making them tasty but all of that put together makes you want to have it and you you then have saliva in the mouth and you are experiencing that it's like uh the recognition and fulfillment in the body is definite so now when you are thinking of putting food in the mouth that impact in the body is of formation of saliva notice this try to observe it within yourself okay ji thank you namaste ji namaste uh did the my question is like uh, we all know now that self is directing um, many activities in our body but uh, does the self choose the organs of the body according to the situation or urgency like uh, self direct the brain and brain process and it leads to the activity which we do sometimes on the um, um, in, in an immediate situation self direct the spinal nerves to uh, take the reflex action for the for the immediate you know uh, action or uh, self only choose the spinal nerves or uh, spinal nerves for the sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so is it the self according to the situation it is choosing the organs of the body see some things are happening as part of the self organization of the body the body like like this thing about the circulation or the heart beating no you are not giving instruction to the body moment to moment now beat now beat now time of beat no right this is happening in the body just that you have associated with the body therefore this is part of it no now yeah. you don't have to keep giving moment to moment instructions but you will notice that um if you are thinking certain things supposing you are having anxiety about something mm mm-hmm. now you may notice that the heart is beating faster mm-hmm. have you noticed yes 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 so now you are not specifically giving instruction beat faster beat faster but whatever you are thinking na your feelings your thoughts that is going to have some impact on the body isn't it yeah so that means it's the self organization of self self organization is there in self and in body okay try to observe this within yourself rather than just ask the question and get an answer try to observe within yourself what is happening try to observe the sensations in the body now as we keep observing we will get these answers no my this is my question is like what we have studied for reflex action we use spinal nerves for normal brain activities the brain is processing no, but what is reflex so even killing a mosquito we call reflex what do we mean by reflex so lot of times we say you know mosquito came and sat and by reflex action i spontaneously hit it and now what is happening here it didn't it happens fast but if i look at the steps carefully all this i am instructing na so right now we think everything is body so we are trying to do everything through the body and we think brain is deciding everything no no my yes, question so is my question is like the organ which is uh, which is responsible for reflex action is spinal nerve and for the normal activities it is brain so is it self what we are we are see everything that is being said by the medical system you have to reevaluate everything now mm-hmm. isn't it right because now one more dimension is added on 
a very important dimension and that is the self so far oh. it didn't have any you know this was not significant at all or at least we didn't even we weren't even aware of that possibility so everything in the body that is happening you either put it in the brain or somewhere hmm? mm -hmm. but now there is another dimension so we have to explore this dimension and see that you know this is why we have to understand the self and the body very clearly that in the body there is some recognition and fulfillment that is definite okay but in the self there is choice the self can you know um even if you are not aware of consciously instructing the self can go by understanding or can go by assumptions without understanding and accordingly the self decides to do whatever it's deciding and gives instructions accordingly but lot of times this impact of what you are thinking what you are feeling on the body you are not moment to moment giving that instruction but every unit is reflected onto every unit every other unit and you are in such close association with the body that it is bound to have that impact on the body right so we'll explore it more a little short on time okay yeah so if we observe this today we are going to try to observe this only that who is the decision maker between the self and the body when you are deciding to give instructions to the body or when you are reading specific sensations from the body who who is the decision maker is it the self or the body try to um what we say you know, do the activity slowly and try to see what is happening you may not have observed many thoughts earlier now you may observe many thoughts and feelings are there before you actually you know see the effect on the body so we'll try to observe this a little carefully today this interaction between the self and the body and tomorrow we'll take your observations and questions <laughs>